The birth of New York City Football Club was announced on May 21st, 2013, becoming the 20th franchise in Major League Soccer. While the push for the postseason came up short, the inaugural campaign has been memorable and laid the foundation for what promises to be a bright future for the Big Apple's own New York City Football Club. Good afternoon all. Thank you very much for, for coming today. It's um, a really exciting uh, day for myself and, uh, and the football club. Um, to be honest, I'm here um, the last few weeks and um, I'm really excited. I can't wait to start the pre-season and um, we have um, a really exciting season ahead and um, I'm really looking forward to a successful uh, season. Growing up and born in, in Senegal really never crossed my mind coming to, to manage a team in, in New York. Welcome. Thank you. Are you okay? Yeah. All good? Yeah. Train? Okay. Thinking in the And of course, growing up in Paris, in France, even that I wasn't thinking about coming to New York one day and uh, that's just showing you sometimes life taking you to places you never think about or you never dream about. I wanted to formally wel welcome you Patrick to New York Thank City you. FC. It was quite really important for me to, uh, to come over straight away to New York when the announcement uh, was made because I really wanted to face every single one of you here just to let you know how how proud I am and how exciting I am about this new challenge. Because I remember coming to his office a few years ago, it was only 10, 15 people, and now it's, it's unbelievable. So that's just showing how uh, the football club is getting bigger and bigger. And, um, and for me, it's, it's a privilege to stand up in front of you and to tell you that I will be managing New York City. The last few years have been really important, finding what I wanted to achieve after my playing career. And today I'm in one of the nicest cities in the world, doing what I love, doing my passion, and, um, and I'm really privileged. Let's have faith and get to the side. You both travel to the other side, I expect on here, and then we're coming to the It is a massive challenge, massive challenge. This is the reason why it's important for me to have right people around who know the MLS really well. But at the end of the day, it's just about taking information on board, learning, and, uh, and I'm prepared to do it. I'm quite a really open minded and, uh, and I believe that I have the right people around me to, uh, to guide me to, uh, to success. To be asked by Patrick Vieira to be a part of his team that he assembled to come over here was, um, was a real privilege, really. You're working off your toes a little bit now. Okay, so it's a little bit more dynamic than before. Been at Manchester City for nearly seven seasons, and then being asked to come over here was um, was very inspirational for me. My experience of pre-season was me getting to use my interpersonal skills to um, build relationships with the guys and get to know a little bit about them and what makes them tick and what they would want from me and my job role. For me it was a really interesting time and I think that's the best part, that's the real, where you see the team coming together and relationships building and the guys seeing what we're about and what they're about, um, so for me it was a really good time. I've been part of his coaching staff for the last four seasons now, so we know each other pretty well. I knew him also when he was still a player and I learned how professional and how really humble in the, the intelligent way he is. And so my role is clear, is to help him to implement his philosophy, his pseudo philosophy, uh, is to help to implement his ideas and so to, to assist him in that, and to make sure that the players are really clear uh, about what they have to do individually and collectively. He always listens, he always gives you time for your opinion. Um, he doesn't always take your opinion, he always makes his own decisions, but he'll always, it's one of the best things about working with him, he always gives everyone the opportunity to give their opinion 
and then he, he makes a final decision. Oh, I, I learned an incredible amount. I mean, he's, he's so meticulous and detailed in everything he does. And for me, doing, doing my role, it, it's, it's perfect because we, we, we try not to miss and we don't miss um, anything particular, down to the finest detail. He, he's so exact and meticulous. Patrick is a huge figure in soccer, you know. Um, being able to work with someone like him is, um, is a big inspiration, you know. It's really interesting because when you think about someone of his profile, you know all the things that he has achieved and you know that he has that special talent but at the same time you don't realize how hard he works. Only when you are next to him you realize that, that fact. A coach with his experience is always um, give a lot of stability and a lot of confidence to the team. For me the, the most I'd say refreshing part of him is that he's he's extremely patient and he's extremely humble. Um, and I think to be a, a, a great manager, you have to be both. And so I think when you look at how he's embraced this project and the, the level of teaching and detail that has to go into um, working with our players, working with MLS players relative to maybe other environments, you can imagine uh, his type of mentality, demeanor is, is critical to being able to communicate those messages. What are your thoughts on Patrick Vieira? I think he's going to be great for us. You know, I've played against Patrick, obviously one of the greatest probably players in the, well, the Premier League modern era, without a doubt. People have been great players, don't always want to go and do the dirty stuff. And I think he's worked with the kids on you know, cold Manchester mornings over the back of the training ground. I've seen him do it. So I think he's, he's certainly striped there. So for us, I think he's going to up our level. I hope he will. And, and the players will respect him. And when he speaks, they'll listen because of what he's done in the game. You know, it's, it's exciting, it's an exciting moment because we have been working together so hard uh, to get to this point and we know how important it is to start well at the beginning of the season. Obviously, Patrick uh, played at the highest level in, in the game uh, and we were talking about this kind of feeling before the game. And I think you need to have that kind of the cold butterflies in your stomach. They are the signal that you really care about what's coming. As a first game, nervous, anxious, because you want everything to be perfect and you want everything to go the way that you plan it. And of course, as a first game, you always want to do well. Uh, it was important uh, for the teams to come out of the game and, uh, and having a really good feeling. Um, so yes, you are, you are a little bit nervous, anxious and confident at the same time because the team's been working really well, it's been working really hard. Um, so it was all this kind of feeling at the, at the same time. For me, Patrick thrives on pressure. That's who he is as an individual. That's how he won things as a player. He has an instilled mentality, a winning mentality, and I think in time that rubs off on you. Now McNamara. It's Matarita down the right, but McNamara the shot! And it's in! Tommy McNamara will have the first goal for 2016, and New York City has the lead 1-0. Yeah, chipped by Discaru, now Taylor turns, and he scores! Tony Taylor gets his first for New York City, and puts him back in front. It's 2-1. I think what is really important is that Patrick has a vision. So I think the players always feel more confident when the coach demand for specific things. All the tactics and all the work that Patrick put together during the pre-season came alive in the first uh, game of the season. Just McNamara into the area, floats it across, Discord makes it four! It takes a lot to be a coach, it's not always what people think it is, it's just about the motivational side, but it's the detail, it's the hours spent and 
again getting your principles across and getting your philosophy across because the team represents the coach and he always knows that he's the figurehead he's the visionary but the team is the representation of of the man himself and the team that he's brought with him so again the collective not the individual Emotion. I think um, you think about all the hard work that players, staff, doing, doing, um, doing in the preseason, and um, and then when you look at the way that the first game went, um, the way that we played, the number of chances that we create, the number of goals that we create, and um, and people who really um, enjoyed watching the game. And um, it's uh, it's a good feeling, really good feeling. I learn um, I learn a lot about myself. I learn a lot about the group. I learn a lot about my staff. I learn a lot about the game. He was um, it was a really really good year for me, where um, I understand a little bit better uh, the way and what I want from the players. Um, I know even better the staff now because we went through a, a really difficult period during the season where we didn't give up. We've been supporting each other and most importantly we reinforced the messages that we wanted from the players and uh, we didn't change the way we see the game, we didn't change our philosophy, we stick to our principle. and. Uh, we work even harder and, uh, and that was a, a really important sign for me um, regarding the, the staff. We know the way we want to play the game. Um, we believe that we have a stronger team than last year. Um, I'm going to be really demanding on players. Uh, because we need to perform, we need to win games, because we are representing one of the biggest cities in the world. <laughs> 